Today we're comparing Titleist Fairy Woods from the past 15 years. Jackie has hit some shots with some of the best, and we've got Trackman data to break down. Stay tuned. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And it's a Titleist Fairywood comparison day. You've um, hit, sh well Jackie has hit some shots with, uh, was it five of the kind of the best models of Fairywood from the past probably 15 years, going back to the 909 series. So the shots are already up, we've got the TrackMan data. Um, Jackie, kind of first give me overall thoughts on your test here. Um, anything major to take away, maybe feel, maybe look um, as we um, you're kind of before going into the data here. Yeah, uh, definitely some differences in each model. Uh, you know, we don't have like the 910, uh, 912, you know, mm -hmm. like the ones that were in between these, but we wanted to get a glimpse of the technology changes from each model. Uh, but the one thing I did notice is just the weight. Uh, didn't really, you know, these are all stock shafts that they came yeah. out with with each model. So there is some differences when it comes to the weight of the actual shafts. Yeah. Uh, the nine, I think it was the nine thirteen, was like super lightweight, and yeah. I I ended up swinging it the fastest, so no surprise there. But it, mm -hmm. that was the first thing I noticed as soon as I grabbed it. Like going from that from the nine oh nine, he like like twenty grams of weight yeah. difference. So interesting how that's changed over time. Where they the stock kind of weight and because that's. You know, part of this, obviously, we try to get as match up the shafts as close as possible. But when you have bonded hosels, yeah. things like that, you can't really match it up. And you kind of have to go with you know the stock regular um, yeah. of the time. But if it's you know there is some differences there. Um, and then one thing I know, at least I've noticed with drivers, with tire list over the years, is that they've reduced that spin really well. Yeah, I think that was what kind of maybe you know kept. I don't want to say kept us behind competitors. I think they were really forgiving drivers, but sometimes that spin would jump way up. And I think at least with drivers, they've lowered that. So it's in, I'm going to be curious to see spin numbers with Ferry Woods here as well. But Yeah, I think also to note, uh, as you jump into the 913, that's where the adjustability hosel mm -hmm. uh, begins with what we're testing here today. So obviously that's a factor as well. But I would say once I got to the TS2, TSI2, huge difference in feel. Felt a lot softer, a lot more okay. forgiving. So interested to see kind of what the numbers say here in terms of the results, but I can almost guarantee that it's going to be a little bit better with those uh, upgrades in technology that Titleist yeah. came oh, out sure, with. Oh, sure, sure. So let's kind of break this down here, Jackie. T walk me through it here. You've yeah. got um, the averages from your shots up on screen. Walk me through them all and what are the, the major takeaways that golfers will see here? Yeah, so first of all, club head speed uh, with each. Very interesting that, you know, 917, 913, 909, I'm actually swinging the fastest with those. The old, I mean, it almost, it's almost, you know, the older the club, the uh, faster you swing. So yeah. That, and that, a lot of that could have been the shaft and, um, you know, that, oh, what that stock weight was. For sure, for sure. And that, you know, it's good to note that in terms of what they were trying to do maybe at that time frame to try to gain more speed yeah. in the technology they were trying to get out of it. Uh, but as you see here, you know, you, you know, you go to ball speed, right? Yeah. And you go to ball speed and even though I'm swinging slower with the newer technology, I'm getting way more ball speed than I was with the older technology. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go from there, you go to smash factor. Well, like TS2 <laughs> and TSI2 is perfect. Yeah. Right. It's also more consistent too. I mean, even oh, the, yeah. you talk about even the, the, the ball speed numbers as well, more consistent. And the smash factor number is more consistent than the older clubs. Right. So there has to be something to that. Maybe you know the the sweet spot over time. I know sweet spot's kind yep. of a, you know, uh, you know, not the the perfect term maybe to describe a golf club, but that that area of the club face that you still get maximum performance out of has grown over time. I think you see that perfectly clear here with the newer technology TSI two and TS two specifically. Right. And I'm not surprised by the smash factor being pretty darn good with the TS2 right. and the TSI2. Uh, they're getting great results, mm -hmm. you know, in fittings because of that. So not, no surprise with that. Um, you know, as you go through, then you got launch angle, right? Very, honestly, pretty dang similar. Yeah. Uh, so not a huge difference here. So that's very interesting to note in terms of, you know, the older technology from the 909 all the way up to the TSI2 is that the launch angle is pretty mm -hmm. pretty similar there even with the different weights in the shaft so right 
Uh, but then you got spin rate, and this is where I think it gets interesting, uh, and as we'll see some more results down the line here, but you got 909 is the highest spinning, and then the TSI-2 is the lowest spinning. Okay. But when you look at carry yardage, right, TS-2 and the TSI-2, I carried the farthest. Right. So even though I'm getting more spin from, say, the TS-2, it, it's actually getting the second most yardage total. Right. Right. Because so, TSI two, actually, I'm actually impressed with TSI two because that's 300 RPM than basically every other one. I mean, you got, well, I guess 917 was close, but in terms of the spin, it's one of the lower ones or is the lowest. Yeah. But the carry distance is actually higher than yeah. almost all of them. So that tells me that there's some serious ball speed going on there, and you can obviously see ball speed. Well, and right I swung it the slowest, too. That too. So that's actually yeah. that's kind of wild actually to have that much carry distance despite being. Uh, the lowest spin, so it still kind of was giving you the pop that you need. Yeah, I, I mean, good results here in terms of what TSI2 and the new technology can really bring. Mm -hmm. uh, so for those that are looking to see, okay, well, why would it be worth an upgrade in Titleist, uh, especially if you're a huge Titleist fan, this is a good indicator of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you go further in, obviously with the, the total yardage, and the TS2 and the TSI2 is just hitting it out of the ballpark. Yeah, 909, we're at 206, so I'm gaining 10 plus yards yeah. from just a newer club. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you, you look at that, 10, 10 total yards of, you know, that I'm getting out, and then carry yardage as well. Yeah. So, and one thing I want to point out too is the consistency of this, because you look at, look at the consistency numbers by the 917F2. You have, I mean, look at that deviation yep. in terms of the carry, in terms of the spin, and in terms of the total distance. They're all higher or much higher actually than the, those newer clubs right look at the spin consistency of the ts2 yeah it might have been a higher spinning club but look how consistent it was yeah. so you kind of you know what to expect out of these newer clubs versus some of these older ones that's where that consistency goes away and you don't really know sometimes what to expect you can't trust it as much yeah and that's why and it's especially true again for those golfers that you know are needing a fairy wood and it's one of those tougher clubs in the bag for a lot of amateurs is getting the ball up into the air, off the turf, and you know, finding that sweet spot on the fairy wood. And more and more now, you're seeing help on, especially low strike hits on the club face and new fairy woods. You see that here too. It's just so much easier to hit with these newer ones. Where the older ones, you really had to make sure you kind of hit that center. Right. Yeah, and you know, when you're talking, going more in depth here, um, honestly, it, down the line, not a whole, I mean, there are some differences. You, you're talking about twisting of the face and some of these shafts that are in these older clubs. Yeah. Um, you know, face angle on a lot of these are, are pretty similar, but interesting that the TS2 is uh, minus three uh, versus, so basically I was closing the face and it was going a little bit more left and we'll show the dispersion pattern here in a second, but you know, face to path is also very interesting. And in 917, 2.1 basically you know there's a huge difference in how the club is twisting in my hand with the shaft yeah. and the weight and also the head design right yeah. so as you look into um the dispersion pattern here and this tsi2 i'm hitting pretty dead straight yeah. but that 909 i mean i hit it straight you hit straight it just what i lost some distance and that's just technology right mm -hmm. uh talking about the shaft still having some kick, the head having kick. Mm -hmm. I, it's pretty consistent compared to the other ones that I hit, but just losing that distance. Right. So, uh, I mean, and to Tyler's credit, the dispersions here aren't huge. No. Um, and also to your credit as a, <laughs> as a good swinger of the golf club. But um, I think it, it just, it's a microcosm of what has happened with fairy woods over the years, what Tyler has done with their fairy woods over the years is they've just made it easier to hit, but they've also given you more distance, yeah. and they haven't you know, put as much pressure on the golfer to make the right swing. Yeah. Instead, it's just kind of, here's a better golf club that's gonna help your performance overall. And here's my, my so I used to play the 909 back when I okay. uh, was in you know, my first year in college and stuff, and so uh, I played the 909, 910, 930, I mean, like I've played these clubs. Yeah. Um, I personally don't think there's a huge difference. Like the 909, 910 was a, a pretty step, a good step in the right direction for Titleist, but in between there, 
you know, there wasn't a lot of differences, and that's why Tyler's kind of lost some ground with golfers because a lot of them were going with, you know, you talk about TaylorMade RBZ and mm -hmm. the Ping G and, mm -hmm. you know, all those clubs that were really doing really well in that time frame. But then when Titleist came out with TS2, the and TS you can series see, really kind of ramped yeah. those up again. And I, it's worked with Driver, but you also see it in the Fairy Woods yeah. here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. So, um, yeah, the TSI2, I, I love the TSI2. Uh, I, you know, I hit it well. So I just felt the most comfortable with it in my hand. And I don't know what it was, but the face itself felt uh, soft and forgiving. And I think as soon as I hit it, I just kept going. And it was just yeah. a little bit more. I, mean, I think. Uh, th at least your longest two shots of the day were with the TSI-2, yeah. and I think three your longest four as well. Uh, so there's something to the TSI-2. Yeah. Uh, more pop, more forgiveness, and I guess it just shows, you know, for the golfers too. I mean, if you're a, a budget conscientious player, uh, you know, any of these fairwood are great options. Yeah. Um, but if you're really looking to improve that performance off the fairwood, uh, whether it's, you know, off the tee or off the turf, um, you know, TS-2, TSI-2 from Titleist, two really good options here, and they've it shows that they've improved their product over the years. So kudos to Titleist, kudos to you, Jackie, for hitting the shots today and giving your insight and uh, putting all this data together for us. So uh, thank you viewers for watching. Thank you, Jackie, for joining. And uh, stay tuned for more comparisons like this in the future.